Hi guys, I'm Yara. I'll be uh, teaching a flow to a class today. Um, if you have blocks with you, they're good to use, but they're also not needed for the practice. So don't feel like you need to have blocks. The only, the only thing you need is just yourself and your mat. Um, I always say this at the beginning of every class, if something doesn't feel safe in your body, most likely it isn't safe, so please leave it and don't push beyond your limits. Show up for yourself and just have fun. We're going to start on our back body today. So come on to your mat, lie down on your back, and when you come onto your back, option A is you bring the soles of the feet to kiss, knees are wide apart, you can rest your left hand on your chest, right hand on your tummy. Both hands on pelvis is pretty good too. If this doesn't feel the best in your hips at the moment, you can also just bring the knees together, have the feet wide. Both are fine. One is going to work better than the other for you, so just show up for yourself. And slow down the breath here. Breathe in and out of the nose. Deepen the inhales and the exhales. And when you begin to tap into your yogic breath, you want to come into that place where the breath is always audible in sound and equal in length. And the breath becomes really important in this practice because you want your mind to fixate on the breath rather than the chatter in the mind. So if at any moment you notice that your thoughts are getting louder and louder, just come back to the breath, notice it, come back to the breathing. Connect to the body. So pay attention to how the hips feel in this moment. Try to soften as much as you can. And with care, when you are ready, grab the outer thighs of your palms, welcome the knees closer together, hug the knees in towards the chest, squeeze yourself. Rock gently along the spine, anchor the feet onto the floor, come up into Malasana, so prayer hands, if this is a lot, especially because it's the beginning of the practice, you guys can always use a block and just sit on a block. If it's still a lot, the heels can be lifted. Mine are currently lifted at the moment. It's okay, just focus on breathing. Slow inhales and slow exhales. With care, because the hands onto the earth, straighten up through the legs, walk the feet a little closer together. Inhale to lengthen the spine, neck is long. Exhale to fold, bow the head heavy to the earth. Root down through the feet, inhale, rise up, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, hands in prayer. Inhale to Om, feel free to join or just listen. Sweep the arms up over the head. Exhale, bow to the earth, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen, flat back. Exhale to plank, step your feet back. Kiss the knees onto the earth. Shift your bum back in line to the knees. Radiate your fingers towards the top of the mat, melting your chest to the floor. Chin to the earth for anahata. If chin to the floor is not accessible, forehead to the ground is fine. Send the breath into the mid back, into the shoulders. Slow and steady forearm plank. So anchor the forearms on the earth. Squeeze the belly up and in. Energize your legs. Inhale. Coil in through the low belly, so it's a little tiny movement. Exhale, radiate the chest forward, extend the heels back two more times. Inhale, 
Low belly up and in, coil, breathe. Exhale, lengthen the spine, heels plug back. One more wave, inhale, low belly squeezes in. Exhale, lengthen the spine while keeping the core contained. Sphinx pose, belly down, thighs down, elbows in line to the shoulders. Keep your neck long, keep listening to the breath. With control, melt the chest to the floor. Hands come underneath the shoulders. Tops of the feet are rooted. Upward dog, inhale, lift the chest, energize the legs. Downward dog, exhale, hips to the ceiling. Bring the feet together. So we're gonna move around in a mandala today, so in a circle around the mat. With the feet together, calm inhale through the nose, right leg kisses the sky, float it up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot in between the hands, keep the left leg energized. Option A, fingertips. Option B, hands on the floor if you can. If you guys have blocks, use the blocks to support the hands, that's okay too. Take a big breath in, coil in through the spine, just like we did in plank. Soften through the neck. Exhale, radiate the chest forward, plug the left heel back, two more. Inhale, scissor the hips, belly in, bow the head heavy. Exhale, chest forward, shoulders move back, left heel plugs back. One more wave, inhale, belly up and in. You should all be feeling this right in the hips. Exhale, lengthen and extend your left heel back. With control, glide your back foot a little more in. Bring the feet at a 45 degree angle or parallel. Grab the inner ankles, plug the elbows in towards the shins. Take a big breath in, bow the head heavy, soften through the neck. Exhale, plug your hips back, lengthen the chest forward, neck is long. Twice more. Inhale, bow the head, belly up and in, soften through the neck. Exhale, plug your hips back, heart forward, neck is long. One more wave, inhale. And exhale. From here, pivot your way towards the back of your mat. So now you're all facing away from the camera. Listen to my voice, repeating that same movement pattern. Frame the front foot, inhale, coil in through the spine, belly is active. Exhale, chest forward, left heel back. Again, inhale, belly up and in, soften through the neck. Exhale, radiate, finding length through the spine. One last wave, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, plank, so left foot steps back. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in, come halfway down. Inhale, upward dog, lift up. Exhale, downward dog, hips up. So now we're all facing away from the camera. Bring the feet together. Slow inhale. Left leg kisses the sky, float it up. Listen carefully. Ground the left foot down beside your right foot. Calm inhale, right leg kisses the sky, float it up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot in between the hands. Same movement pattern, nothing changed. Inhale, coil in through the low belly, bow the head. Exhale, chest forward, heel back. Two more waves, inhale, squeeze in through the belly, scissor your hips. Exhale, lengthen. One more wave, breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. From here, walk your back foot slightly in. Grab the inner ankles, hug the elbows in towards the shins, take a big breath in, soften through the neck, belly up and in, exhale, chest forward, neck is long, plug the hips back, two more waves, inhale, and exhale, heart forward, breathe into the hips, we're opening them up, one more wave, inhale, and exhale. 
Pivot your weight towards the front of the mat. So now we're all facing the front, same movement pattern. Inhale, tummy up and in. Level up the pelvis. Exhale, chest forward, lengthen the spine one more time, or two more times. Inhale. And exhale. One last time, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale to plank, left foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side of the mandala, same movement patterns that we just did. Feet come together, palm breath in. Left leg sweeps up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot in between the hands. Take a big breath in, let belly up and in, soften through the neck, coil. Exhale, chest forward, heel back. So it's one breath, one movement. From here, walk your back foot in. Feet are parallel, grab the inner ankles. Inhale, soften through the neck, belly is, heavy, belly is strong. Exhale, chest forward. Neck lengthens out, hips plug back. With control, pivot your weight towards the back of the mat, framing through the right foot. Inhale, coil in, belly is active. Exhale, heart forward, neck long. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward dog, feet together. Slow breath in, right leg to the sky, float it up. Exhale, right foot down beside the left foot. Inhale, left leg kisses the sky, sweep it up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot through. Breathe in, tummy up and in, bow the head heavy, coil like you're in a cat stretch. Exhale, radiate. Chest forward, walk the back foot inwards, grab inner ankles, breathe in, coil, soften, breathe out, plug the hips back, chest comes forward. With control, come back to the front of the mat, inhale, coil in, scissor the hips, exhale, lengthen and radiate. Breath in, plank, right foot back. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look at the hands, jump through onto your tushy. Come back onto your back body. We'll prepare for some core cultivation. So as you land on the back, soles of the feet are together, Knees wide, coming back to Supta, Bhadakanasana, which is butterfly. Interlace the fingers at the back of the head. Take a big breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, shoulders lift, knees lift, and they draw in together. Inhale, lengthen, extend the feet down, let them hover. Exhale, hug in, knee skips. Again, breathe in. Heels hover, shoulders drop. Exhale, shoulders lift, you crunch, coil everything in. Again, inhale. Exhale. Keep going at your own pace. Make sure that your neck feels supported. Make sure that you're breathing through it all. And flatten the spine on the mat, so squeeze in through the belly. Make sure that your lumbar spine isn't curving drastically. So try to hug in as much as you can through the low belly. Three more. When you're done with the third one, shoulders on the floor, 
Happy baby, grab the outer edges of the feet. From here, right hand grabs the left shin bone. Left hand supports the back of the head. Take a big breath in, lift the shoulders up. Exhale, radiate the right leg towards the right side of the room. Inhale, you switch, right knee in, grab the back of the head, left hand on the shin. Exhale, radiate the left leg. Keep going with this. Breathe in, switch up, breathe out. Right leg radiates. The shoulders are lifted to crunch. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out, radiate. Feel the crunch in the low belly. Keep going at your own pace. Gaze is steady, you're breathing. Repeating for six, five, four, three, two, and one. With control, shoulders drop. Radiate the legs up towards the sky. Go wide with the legs if you can. Lift the shoulders up, bring the arms up over the head. If your neck hates this, interlace fingers at the back of the head. Inhale, crunch and squeeze. Exhale, drop. Keep going, crunching and squeezing. Exhaling to drop for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Shoulders drop, you are done. Bring the soles of the feet to kiss, open up the knees wide, rest. Relax the belly, breathe into the hips. When you're ready to come out of this, hug the knees in towards the chest, rock along the spine, come back up to Malasana. Kiss the hands right onto the earth, straighten up through the legs, gather the feet a little closer together. Inhale, chest forward, belly in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, reach the arms up. Exhale, Anjali Mudra, prayer hands. Garudasana, hug the belly in. Cement the left foot down, bend the knees, right leg comes over the left leg. The right arm, it goes on top of the left arm, so bring the left arm under the right. Squeeze in through the belly. If you guys are able to, get your foot around your calf, but if that doesn't work for your body, don't worry about it. Keep breathing. Steady the gaze, we're challenging our balance in this asana. With control, right foot down. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, you switch it out. So bend through the knees. Left knee comes in. Rod the left leg over the right. Same arm. Right arm goes underneath the left arm. Keep breathing. Perfect, and you're ready, let that go, foot down, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands to heart. From here, go wide with the feet, feet mat width apart, with control on the exhalation, grab the back of the ankles, do the best that you can to get your triceps underneath the hamstrings, walk the feet closer in towards one another, and kiss your hands right onto the floor. Belly in. Walk the feet in, right ankle, wraps on top of the left, squeeze in through the core, lift the feet up, coming right into Bhuja Pidasana. Hug in through the belly, engage the shoulders, breathe. So you wanna treat this asana, this posture as a mudra, as a lock. 
Come into a place where the breath is soft, face is calm. Feel the work in the low belly to keep you supported in this asana. You're okay, just keep breathing. When it's time to come out of Buja Pida, you get the feet right onto the earth, preparing for Parahastasana. Feet are hip bone distance, right hand under right foot, left hand under left foot. Head up on the inhale, down on the exhale. I like to do this asana after arm balances just because it gets into the wrists. So do the best that you can to let the toesies massage the creases of the wrists. Move the hands away from the feet. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to bow. Root and rise, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a big breath in, sweep the arms up. Breathe out, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, Chattaranga. Inhale, upper dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Feet come together, direct path. Calm inhale through the nose, right leg floats up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot through. Anchor the right foot down. Breathe in. Radiate your arms up. Option one, stay like this. Option two, gentle back bend. Option three, palms can kiss. That's okay too. Show up for your body. It's all good. Just keep breathing. Make sure you're hugging in through the low belly. Make sure that you're doing the best that you can to scissor up the hips and keep the back leg really strong. Coming into a twist, you kiss the left palm onto the earth. Radiate the right arm up towards the sky. Float it up. Lean back with the right side of the ribcage. Keep tuning into the breath. Exhale, right hand to the earth, right foot back, Chattaranga. Breathe in, lift the chest, breathe out, pike the hips, feet together, left leg to the sky, inhale. Exhale, knee to tummy, foot through. Inhale, arms up. So remember your options. Here is good, back bend is good, palms kissing is good. Find the strength through the legs and the tummy. Drive that left knee towards the front. Strive towards getting that left thigh bone parallel to the ceiling. So find the depth of that lunge. Coming into a gentle twist. Exhale, right palm to the floor. Left arm up towards the sky. Lean back with the ribs. Keep scissoring up the hips. Don't forget about that back leg. Keep it strong. Left palm touches down, chakaranga, foot back, elbows in. Upper dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale. Excellent. Feet come together. Slow inhale. Left leg to the sky. Float it up. Exhale. Knee to belly. Foot through. Inhale. Arms come up. So deeper twist this time. Option A, you hug right in, getting the tricep on the left outer thigh, and you commit to prayer hands. Option B, reach the right hand down, internally rotate that right arm, extend the left arm back, see if you can bind, squeeze in through the belly, engage the back leg, lift the chest up towards the sky. You're okay, keep breathing. With control, release the bind, palms droop, right knee down, left leg straight, Arda, Hanuman, half splits, fold over that left thigh bone, bowing the head heavy. With control, 
You're going to slide that left leg towards the front of the mat. Get your bum to the floor and the right quadricep is going to be parallel to the short edge of your mat. Option one, left forearm to the floor, right arm up to the sky and then eventually in the direction of your foot. Option B, left hand, shimmies down and you grab the back of the right ankle. So try to really get the shoulder down as close as you can to the floor. From here, grab hold of the left foot, leaning back with the right side of the ribs. Belly in, breath is soft and controlled. Face is calm. So this is like a seated Parigasana variation. Keep tuning into the breath. With care, let that go, kissing the hands back onto the floor. Level up through the pelvis. Come back to a lunge position. So bend that left knee. Both of the hands to the inside of the front leg. Recruit the strength of the back leg. Shimmy the left shoulder underneath the hamstring. Hug the elbows in. Straighten the leg if you can. My couch is in the way, so I'm going to keep bending my knee. Come forward with the chest and float the right leg up. Aikapada Kundanyasan. Keep breathing. Chattaranga. Upper dog. Downer dog. Hips up. Good. Feet together. Slow inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot through. Inhale, arms up. So now, exploring a deeper twist. Exhale, left tricep. On the right outer thigh, prayer hands. Or, belly in. Get that left arm down. You want to get your pit as close as you can to the thigh bone. Inward rotation through that left arm. Right arm reaches back and you bind. Keep breathing. Excellent. When you're ready to let go, hands on the floor, left knee down, right leg straight, Arda Hanuman, half splits, fold over the right thigh. Make sure you're keeping your front leg active. Tummy is strong. Preparing for the seated parigasan. Drive the right leg to the front. Anchor the bum down. Left quad is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Option one, modified, forearm down. Side bend, option two, Right hand hugs in to grab the left ankle. Shimmy the right shoulder down. Extend the left arm in the direction of the right foot. Grab your foot. Lean back with the rib cage. Keep breathing. And it's time to let go. Hands on the earth. Come back to a lunge. So square off through the hips. Bend through the front knee. Get the right tricep underneath the hamstring. Kiss the hands right onto the floor. Engage the back leg. With care, radiate the right leg. Come forward. Left leg sweeps up. Ekapada Kundanyasana. Keep breathing. Chattaranga. Hmm. Look at the hands. Top of the mat. Come forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale. Hands to heart. Good work. Back to Garudasana. So, eagle. Anchor down through the left. Bend the knees, right leg over left, left arm underneath the right arm, steady the gaze. Inhale. 
Inhale, let that go, arms up. Exhale, you switch, bend the knees. Left leg over right. Right arm under left arm. When you're ready to let go, foot down, inhale, arms up, exhale, hands to heart. Feet, mat width, malasana. Hands to heart, sit low, breathe into the hips, a lot of hip work today. When you guys are ready, get your tushy to the floor. Draw the left heel as close as you can to the roots. If you need to modify, you will straighten the left leg, that's okay. Option one, you bring the right shin bone up and you just kind of cradle that right leg. If you want to go deeper than that, you will shift the right bone back slightly, straighten through the right leg, get the shoulder underneath the hamstring, left hand takes the outside of the foot, kiss the right palm firmly onto the ground, breathe in, radiate your right leg up towards the ceiling, squeezing in through the belly, finding space through the spine. So this is the same movement pattern as we did in the Parigasana variation, but now it's just seated. Breathe it out. With care, hug the knee in towards the shoulder. Kiss the palms onto the floor. Step one is you stay right here and feel the work in the body. Step two, left ankle goes on top of the right. Step three, push the palms down, bum up. Step four, straight legs, chest forward, bum back, ashta, vakrasana. Squeeze in through the inner thighs. Engage the belly. Keep breathing. When you're ready to let that go, bum down. Come back to seated. Other side. Option one, right heel close to the roots. Option B, right leg is straight. Left shin bone heads in towards the chest. Option one, chill out in this position to get the hip opening. For this posture to happen in the body, the hips have to be quite open. So you could stay here and work on that. If you're going deeper, bring the knee or the shoulder right behind the hammy. Right hand scoops up the outside of the left foot because the left hand on the earth. Inhale, radiate your left leg towards the sky. Tummy in. Lean back with the right side of the rib cage. With care, hug that knee back in for Ashtava Crescent. Palms on the earth. Right ankle on top of the left. Belly in, seat lifts. Chest forward. Push back. Straight legs. Keep breathing. To let go, bum down. Come back up to Parahasta. So feet, hip bone distance, right hand under right foot, left hand under left foot, head up on the inhale, head down on the exhale. Move shoulders away from ears, recruit the strength of the belly and the legs. When you're ready, move the hands away from the feet, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to fold, inhale to rise, exhale, hands to heart. Forgot to turn on this light, okay. <laughs> Feet together, calm inhale, arms sweep up on the inhale, exhale, fold, inhale to lengthen, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the heart, exhale, pike the hips. 
Feet together. Inhale. Right leg to the sky. Belly squeezes in. Exhale, knee to belly. Foot through. Straighten through that right leg. Anchor the left heel down to the floor. Take a big breath in. Uttira Chikonasana. Straighten the left arm up towards the ceiling. Option one, right hand on shin. Option two, right hand on the floor or block. Option three, peace fingers, poke the big toe. It's all good. Sound of the breath. Left hand kisses the hip. Right hand is on the earth. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana, radiate that left leg up. Lean back with the ribs. Maybe left arm dances up. Keep sounding out the breath. With care, soften through the front knee. Anchor the left heel down. Cartwheel the palms onto the earth. Vinyasa back. Chaturanga. Feet together. Slow inhale, left leg up. Exhale, knee to belly, foot through, straight left leg. Anchor, right heel down, left hand on the shin, right arm up. Uttita Chikonasana, straight leg triangle. Do whatever you need to do with the hands to make this feel better in the body. Lean back with the right side of the ribs. Drishti, your gaze is at your thumb. Arda, Chandrasana, half moon, right hand to the hip, left hand to the earth, radiate, right leg up to your height, if you want to get fancy, right arm up, option, not mandatory, keep squeezing in through the core, firing up the legs, feel the inner thighs engage, with care, back knee roots, cartwheel the palms onto the mat, Vinyasa. Hmm, excellent. Almost done. Left side now. Feet come together. Calm inhale. Left leg rises. Exhale. Meet a belly. Foot through. Anchor. Right heel to the floor. Bend the left knee. Right Virabhadrasana 2. Warrior 2. Rise up. Lunge low through the left leg. Squeeze in through the belly, drive that leg towards the front. Parshavira Bhajra, flip the palm on the inhale. Radiate back. Exhale, forearm to the thigh bone is good. Left hand to the ground is good. Grabbing the ankle is good. And extend the right fingers to the front of the room. Lean back with the right side of the ribs. Squeeze in through the belly. Recruit the strength of the back leg. Some of you are going to be here today. Some of you are going to reach that right arm behind you. Left arm down. Can you bind? If you bind, lift up from the chest. Breathe. Excellent. Get the hands right onto the earth. Anchor the back knee down. Hanuman awaits you. So the splits, if you guys want to do full, you stick with halvesies. Moving into full, drive that left leg to the front, extend the right leg to the back. This is where I personally need blocks. So, if you guys have blocks, you can use two blocks to frame the hips, or one block underneath the hamstring, that works too. Tune into the breath. Make sure that you're engaging the legs and the belly, and not diving into your flexibility. So when you're ready to come out, hands on the floor, drive the legs close together. Go back to bending that left knee. Anchor the palms to the inside. Shimmy the left shoulder underneath the hamstring and recruit the strength of the back leg. You're going to eventually walk that right foot through, wrap the ankles on top, come back to Ashtabhakrasana. Belly in, squeeze. Keep breathing. 
From here, chaturanga. Just take it back. Ooh, fake it till you make it. <laughs> Excellent. So feet come together. Right side and we are done. Right leg to the sky on the inhale. Sweep it up. Exhale. Knee to belly. Foot through. Bend that right knee. Kissing the left heel down. Inhale. Virabhadra 2. Warrior 2. Find the lunge. Make sure the back leg is super active. For Parshva, flip the palm on the inhale. Radiate back. Find that lateral opening. And Parshva Kanasa and anchor the right forearm to the thigh bone. Right hand to the earth. It's all good. Sweep the left fingers to the front. So we're getting deep into the hips in this asana. The closer you can get your hand to the floor, the more you'll feel it in the hips. So if you always practice with forearm to thigh, I encourage you to move to hand to the floor one day, to come into the bind. Left arm goes back, right arm sweeps under, and you interlace the fingers to bind. Keep breathing. I know we've been holding here for some while, so your legs are probably burning, but it's just sensation, you're okay. If anything is muscular, it just means you're getting stronger. Don't shy away from it. Embrace it. Very slowly, because the palms right onto the floor. Uh, kind of one that weights you. Kiss the back knee down. Straighten through the right leg. You can stick with the half. You can also drive the right leg to the front. Coming into full. And if these postures that we're doing today make you feel uncomfortable, it is what it is. <laughs> That's the practice. I truly believe that yoga is not meant to be easy. It's supposed to be hard. Because the way that you react to these postures is often how you show up in real life. So this practice wakes you up to your most authentic self. So pay attention to how you react to these postures. And keep coming back to the breath because honestly, you're okay. It's just yoga. The mind can be very dramatic, but that's all it is. It's just thoughts that are getting in the way of the practice. When you're ready to come out, drive the legs close together. This is where we have fun. Bend that right knee. Engage the left leg. Shimmy the right shoulder underneath. Kiss the palms down. Glide that left leg through. Wrap the ankles on top. Radiate your leg, chest forward, bumbak, ashtabhakrasana, breathe. Chaturanga, extend that foot back. Upper dog, lift. Downward dog, hips up. Excellent. Jump through onto your bunkies. From here, come on to your back. So we're going to do back bends. Three back bends. If you have lower back pain, I would leave it. If you have a block, you can take the block, place it underneath your sacrum or the thoracic spine. You still get a back bend variation. We're going to do three sets of wheel back to back. So no rest in between. That way you're not in your head and we're just getting it done. Get the feet on the earth. I personally do this posture with my feet mat width apart because it feels better in my body. So play around with the stance that works for you because we're all built very differently. Make sure, please, that you have your knees in line to the ankles. That's what matters. Hug in through the belly. Inhale, bum up. Tailbone lengthens upwards towards the sky. Fire up your thigh bones. Root down through the feet. Every single corner of the foot is connected. Arms come up. Palms root down beside the neck. Elbows are squeezing in. This is a little weird for me because I'm not sideways. From here, come onto the crown. Straighten the arms. Rise up. Breathe. Fire up the legs. Fire up the tummy. Exhale, forehead or crown of the head on the floor, walk 
the hands in. Inhale, push up, straight arms. Five breaths. Exhale, head down. Hands walk in. Push up, five breaths. When you're done, lower down, shoulder sacrum, land the spine on the floor, cradle the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a squish, hug it in. Grab the back of the legs, rock along the spine, jump back into Chaturanga. Jump through into your tushy once again. So I like to go wide with the hands to create space for my hips. Bend through the knees, spring forward, crisscross through the legs, straighten them out, and then the bum roots. So Pachimottanasana, inner thighs come together. Grab your belly, shove the belly to the side, come forward to the chest to grab the feet, bow the head to the earth. Inhale, rise up, palms root on the floor, crisscross to the legs, jump back into Chaturanga. With control, jump through onto your bum once again. Draw the left heel close to the right bum cheek, anchor the right foot on the earth, place the right hand behind you. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist. So you guys can get the tricep to the thigh, you can hug the knee in. If you want to bind, you did a lot of binds today, go ahead and bind. Inhale, come back to center, Gumukasana. Knees are on top. And the outer edges of the both of the feet and you fold. Let this feel in like, let it be kind of chill. If this aggravates the knees, uh, please leave it. You will just straighten through the left leg and bring the right leg on top. If you have blocks, sit on a block. You can stay in an upright position. You can also fold forward if you like. Palm inhale, slowly come up. This is my absolute favorite thing. You get the palms to the left, anchor the right heel on the floor, push the palms into the floor, straighten up through the legs, move in a circle, and then you switch it over to the other side. So if that didn't make any sense to you, you'll just anchor the right heel close to the left cheek, the left bum cheek, anchor the left foot to the ground, left hand behind you, tall spine on the inhale, and twist on the exhalation. Inhale, come to center for Gumukhasan. Knees kiss, you're on the outer edges of the feet. Fold, remember the modifications. Sitting on a block is good. Straightening the right leg is good. So, show up for yourself.
And just so that we're balanced on both sides. Inhale, come up. Palms right, left foot down. Straighten the legs, full circle. Touch you to the floor. Straighten through the legs, just relieve the hips. Come back to Pachimottanasana. Fold over the thigh bones for a few moments. Let this feel gentle. You're not here forever. Relax the neck. Hmm. And come up on the inhale. Option one, chill out, don't move. Option two, chaturanga, vinyasa back. Excellent. Come back onto your tushi. Option one, shavasana. You're done. Come onto your head body, chill out. Option two, we'll explore headstand. So I'm not there to spot you. I'm not there to assist you. So if you feel more safe doing your headstand against the wall, please do that. If you're dealing with any neck issues, please leave it. It's not worth it. If you've never gone upside down before and you don't feel too confident doing it, I would also just skip it and go straight into Shavasana. You have your entire life to get these postures, so don't feel like it has to happen today. For those of you that are choosing to move into Churchasana, which is headstand, please understand that if you wanted to lift your head off the ground, you would be able to do that easily because there isn't that much weight on your head. Your shoulders, core and legs are doing so much work to keep you lifted up. So find the strength in the shoulders, in the legs, in, in the legs, in the belly and also the forearms, they're rooting down as if you're holding a forearm plank. A good way to measure is you grab opposite elbows, you interlace through the fingers and then that spot in between the hands is where your head is going to go. When you have the head secured, lift the legs up, squeeze the belly in. One knee comes in, other knee comes in, and then maybe the legs begin to straighten out. Focus on breathing. Hug in through the inner thighs, hug in through the low belly. When you want to come out, lower the legs. Child's pose. Chill out for a few moments and rest. If you're still upside down and you're loving it, stay upside down. Don't come down. It's all good. When you feel like it's time to come upside down, you just come into child's pose to reset your neck, to reset the spine, I should say. Very slowly, come up on the inhale whenever that feels intuitive to you. Vinyasa back. You can also skip the vinyasa, it's not mandatory. Excellent, and then come back onto your bum. From here, we'll end the practice the same way we started. So come on to the back body. Soles of the feet kiss, knees open up wide. Come back to Supta Vada Kanasana, Supine Butterfly. Where you place your hands is up to you. There's no right, there's no wrong, it's all good. Hmm. Relax the belly. Relax your face. If you guys are in this pose and you are so happy, please stay. Don't move. If you're ready for Shavasana, all you're going to do is just straighten the legs. Find a softness in the hips. Lengthen the tailbone down. If your lumbar spine, if your lower back is curved drastically, you want to hug that tailbone in. Roll the shoulder blades up and down the spine to keep your heart wide open. And allow for the palms to face the ceiling. If that doesn't feel good in your body, please modify accordingly, just so that you can be still in this posture.
Keep noticing the breath. Are you still controlling your breathing? If you are, notice it and then try to come into a place where the breath is just moving as it should. Explore the sensations of the body. Notice how the hips feel. Notice the sensations in the legs. That's the thing, you're just observing sensation without attaching any story to it. You're just noticing the body for what it is. If you guys have the gift of time, I want you to stay. If you're ready to come out with me, we can wiggle fingers, toes, circle wrists, ankles. And we literally did like a three minute shavasta. So if you do have the time, please stay. It's just Insta Live is gonna cut me eventually. Inhale, arms up, legs come together, point the toes, <clears throat> exhale, to soften. Hug the knees in towards the chest. Just squeeze yourself in. Bring the right arm up over the head. Roll over onto the right. Land in this position for just a few moments. Kiss the left palm down and push yourself up to seated. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you had lots of fun. I will be logging off the Santa live uh, IG. So <laughs> if you have any questions, you could shoot me a message on my Instagram and I'll be able to answer you. It's Yaya L-Y-A-Y-A-E-L-L-E -L -L -E, and I'll answer any questions that you might have. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you had fun. Namaste. Mm-hmm. <laughs>